more than just the people in the first ward are going to miss him and miss his voice and miss his advocacy and his passion for this community uh, because he was the voice for so many. The city of Flint is mourning the loss of a local icon. Flint City Councilman Eric Mays has died at the age of 65. Thank you for watching the news at 630. I'm Raven Blue. His death comes as a complete shock to the community. TV5's Lauren Piesco spoke to a few of Mays' friends and colleagues who say without him, Flint will never be the same. Was he controversial? Yes, but he was bold, he was unapologetic, and he was unafraid, and he wasn't scared to speak up and speak out. If you live in Flint, there's one name you know well, and that's Eric Mays. The third term Flint City Councilman died on Saturday, beloved for his boldness and passion for helping the people of Flint. He was a fighter. He was a true fighter. And so you knew if he was fighting with you, you knew you had someone that would have your back. And we were usually on the same side. You know, someone said, you two are a couple. And I said, we were, because we fought for the same issues. We might have fought differently for those same issues, but we were always pushing for the same issues. He was always for the underdog. He had a sense for what this community kind of truly needed when you went out and talked to people door to door. And then he would come down here and just let everybody have it. There was a lot of truth in what he'd say. There were some funny anecdotes and stories, and you just knew it all came from this big heart that he had for Flint. May's death leaving behind shock and mourning throughout the community. This whole community is, was devastating to get the news. We didn't always agree, but we respected each other's opinion, and um, we did try to work together on some commonality, on some things that we thought was good for the city. He's remembered most by his friends and colleagues for his colorful personality, drive, and strong positions on many issues in Flint. Speaking up about the water, uh, speaking up about the uh, settlement and the unjustness and unfairness of this settlement, speaking up about these ARPA dollars. I mean, there are so many things that the community will miss him speaking up and speaking out about. I'm going to miss that, but I'm going to miss the fun that we had because he was a friend. Uh, you know, and it's funny, a lot of people have sent videos of Eric and I dancing. <laughs> I said, I guess we did dance together a lot. I got to know Eric Mays when I first ran for mayor all the way back in 2007, and he was a community activist at heart. All of us just give our deepest condolences to the Mays family and all of his many, many friends who are close to him. Know that this community will never forget his big heart and his uh, incredible uh, service. The flag outside Flint City Hall will be lowered to half staff in May's honor beginning on Monday. In Flint, Lauren Piesco, TV5. The mayor's office says the flags at City Hall will be lowered to half staff in May's honor starting Monday. Support from his family already pouring in. In a statement sent to TV5, Congressman Dan Kildee says he's saddened by May's passing. The two graduated together from Flint Northern High School in 1976. Kildee and his wife say they're extending their condolences to May's family during this difficult time. The law firm representing Mays sharing the same sentiment, the founder of Copo Strategies, saying they're heartbroken by Mays' sudden death, adding he was, a devote um, de he was devoted to public service.